Hello everyone, in today's video I will show you how to create this realistic crouching effect in Unreal Engine 5. This will also work in Unreal Engine 4. So, as you can see, when we crouch, the uh, camera kind of rotates left and right and up and down, so it looks more realistic. So, let's start. So, what we do first is to go to the first person folder, blueprints, BP first person character, then go into the event graph and find a empty spot, so right here. Then you want to right click and you want to search for the C key. So I want to crouch with the C key. So C key. Then just find the uh, C right here. So after the pressed, you want to change the max walk speed of the character movement to a bit slower. Because when you crouch, you go slower in real life. So, drag out the character movement because we want to get a reference to the character movement because we want to change the uh, uh, set max walk speed in here. <laughs> now, out of here, we want to set max walk speed. We can just duplicate this. And this will go down to the target right here. Now, the released will go into this bottom one and the press will go into here. So now, when we press the C key, we want to walk slower. So, set the max walk speed in here to about 80. And from the released, we want to go uh, the, for the default walk speed, so when we just walk at the normal speed. So, how you can see your default walk speed, click on the character movement, and you can see your max walk speed right here. So, just copy that and paste it in here. So I have 820 as my default max walk speed. Now we want to add a timeline. So drag out there and add a timeline. And call it crouch timeline. So TL for timeline. Now drag this one into the reverse. So we want to reverse this timeline when we stand back up. Go into the timeline and create a track and call it crouch alpha and set the length to about 2 so I want it to take 2 seconds to crouch now we want to add a key so left shift and left click to add a key then set the time to 0 and the value to 0 then add another key set the time to 2 and the value and the value to 1. So now you can see that we have a straight line, but I want it to be more smooth. So right click on this little key right here and click on auto. So now you can see that the line is very smooth. So now compile and save and go into the event graph again. So now we have done the timeline. So now out of the update of the timeline, we want to set capsule half height and if you don't know what the capsule half height is I can show you that right now so as you can see the capsule half height is the height of the capsule as you can see right here so we want to change the capsule half height to around 55 when we crouch so the character actually so the character actually crouches so yeah that is the capsule half height so now, out of the half height, we want to get a lerp, and the alpha will go right into the uh, crouch alpha. Oh, I see that I have spelled that wrong right there, but that's okay. And the A value is the default uh, capsule half height. For me, the default uh, capsule half height is 96, but for you, it is uh, maybe something else. So, go to the capsule component and see your capsule half height right here then you want to take this value and type it in right here then the b value will be the half of our capsule half height so around 50. now if we compile and save and test it out so now you can see that if we hold down c we crouch if we release it we stand up so now we have a basic crouch function in our game but 
we want to make so the camera rotates when we crouch to make it a little bit more realistic so yeah let's do that right now so what we we'll do first is to go into the crouch timeline again and we want to create a flow track and call it camera rot yaw why we are changing the yaw is because the yaw is when the camera goes left and right as you can see so when we crouch we want the camera to go a little bit left and a little bit right so that is why we called it yaw now add a key set the time to zero and the value to zero as well then add another key and the time can be let's say 0.5 and then the value will be the uh, how much you want the camera to rotate left so I want the camera to rotate a little bit left kind of like there so just copy these values so the C so you can just change the uh, how, how much you want this to change when we crouch but I think I think that this value is good for me <laughs> so now go to the timeline again and then you want to click on this key and you want to paste it right here and now we want to add another key and the time will be set to let's say uh, 1.5 and the value will be the uh, same as the left but without the uh, minus so it is plus then we want to add a, another key and set the time to 2 and the value to 0 just like that so now we have this line going down and up and down and these two are the camera going left and right so you can change these values however much you want but i think that this value will work for me and to make the value smooth you can right click on this right here click on auto then right click right here click on auto then right click here and click on auto just like that so now we have a smooth kind of curve like that so now if, you, if we compile and save and go to the event graph so now we want to drag out the first person camera because we want to get a reference to the first person camera so it knows what we want to rotate so drag out of here and set relative rotation then drag these two in right there and then we want to right click on the new rotation and split struct pin so we can see all of the roll and pitch and yaw now on the camera rot yaw as you can see right here we want to change the yaw so drag out the yaw of the set relative rotation and drag that into there so now if we compile and save and test it out you can see that the camera will rotate left and right yes it does but the camera rotates way too much so let's fix that right now so go to the crouch again and change these values to however much you want so maybe about right there to 0.4 minus 0.4 and this one will be the same value so copy it and paste it right there and delete the minus just like that uh, oh we didn't even just like that so now if you compile and save and test it out it is much more subtle or so now these are the values that I ended up with minus one and right here one so as you see it looks like this so far so the camera rotates left and right when we crouch
But now you want the camera to go down and up. So go into the timeline again and add another flow track. And call this camera up slash down. Just like that. Now add a key, set the time to zero and the value to zero as well. Then add another key and set the time to two and set the value to zero. So now we have a straight line. Now in the middle right here, we want to add a key and the time can be set to one and the value is right here. So now we can go to the viewport and as you can see now, when we rotate the pitch, the value changes as you can see. So we want the camera to rotate down. So let's just have it to rotate maybe that much. Then just copy this value. So copy and then reset the camera position to zero again. And then just paste the values to the value right here on the key. Just like that. Now you can click, right click on this, click on auto to make it more smooth. And click auto right here as well. So now compile and save, go into the event graph. And we want to change the pitch. So drag out of the pitch of the set relative rotation. Drag that into the camera up slash down. So now compile and save and let's test it out. So now as you can see we have a very realistic effect. Maybe you think that, that this is too much when we crouch. So you can just change the all of the values to make it more subtle. So yeah that's the tutorial I hope you liked it. And if you have any problems, just leave a comment in the comment section down below. So yeah, I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to join the Discord, by the way. It is very nice. Bye.